What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop. Uh, it's been a minute, a lot going on. Uh, you know, the baby came on the 4th of March. Uh, a lot going on, working, lots of uh, different things going on with different businesses. Working on um, franchise and Flip Flop at the moment. A few more locations popping up soon, thank God. Uh, once again, I appreciate all the love and support from everybody. Uh, it's been outstanding and, and you know, I appreciate it. Don't everything, I'm, I'm very humbled by all the love and support. Um, so this video basically would be about my journey in paradise, you know, how I got here, how I ended up staying here. Uh, but first, let me give you a little background. For me, I've always been the type of person to do, to do what I want to do, you know. At the end of this video, I have a couple of videos and quotes, okay, just to give you guys an idea of, of my motivation. And this will kind of intertwine with the second motivational video that I have coming out uh, to motivate you guys, you know, to see how I motivate myself. Um, but for me, I've always done what I wanted to do. You know, uh, I guess you call it free spirit. You know, if everybody's going left, I want to go right. You know, I, I've kind of paved my own path. I've always been a leader and always felt like, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do. You know, if everybody's wearing Nike, I want to wear Puma. You know, I just always had to be different. I had to do my own thing. Nothing, nothing crazy, but, you know, I just had to be my own person. You know, uh, I want to say it's my father and my grandfather. They, they were very uh, inspirational to me as far as being your own person. You know, they were very powerful men and they're very respected. And they just, you know, carry themselves a certain way. And I took that and I carry myself a certain way as well. So let's get into my journey. So you guys can understand how I ended up here. And, you know, I tell these stories all the time. People ask me, you know, well, how did you get here? So basically, a conversation I had yesterday. We were talking about your friends. Write down your five closest friends, not family, no blood, that you trust and that you claim are your friends. And more than likely, those five people are almost exactly like you. Ethnicity, background, how they came up. They almost have the same values in life that you have. And so what brings me to that is saying you basically are friends with yourself. If you get where I'm going. Myself, I have a very diverse friend group. You know, I'm, I have white, black, uh, doctors, lawyers, guys from the street, whatever. You know, my friends are diverse. And the reason that is is because I grew up a certain way. Maybe it's because I'm half Irish. I don't know. But I've always been a people person. I've always uh, been open and met different people. And my friends are very diverse. And that helped me grow as a person. And rather than being in the same place, in the same box as everyone else is, I was able to move and, and explore and, and do more. You know, So if, you, if you've come to Flip Flop, you'll see that Flip Flop probably is the most diverse place in Sisua, maybe in Dominican Republic. Every race, ethnicity, uh, different countries, they all come together and they just hang out. You know, I've got French, Italians, Germans, Canadians, Europeans, black, white, doesn't matter. They all come, eat, drink, and hang out. You know, very diverse location. And, and you won't see many locations like that. Um, that's because I'm open to everybody, you know. So let's get into my journey into paradise. So the way it started for me, basically, um, I've come, came down here about 11 or 12, I believe it was 12 years. I'm, I might be off by one year, uh, but 11 or 12 years ago, a long time ago, basically. And um, my first year came down twice with, with family, for, uh, my cousins. Uh, then I came down with myself a couple times. Then it was like every few months I just slid down to get away. Um, and you know, I just fell in love with the country, started coming down more and more. Uh, I was here maybe once a month and every couple weeks sometimes. And then I stayed for 30 days. I stayed for six months. I stayed for a year. Then I said, you know what? We're just going to stay down here. Um, people ask, well, how did you do that? Well, for me, I've lived in almost every state on the East Coast. I just get them and go. When I lived in Columbia, South Carolina, I knew one person. I never saw that person again, but I, I lived there. Uh, North Carolina, I just went. Uh, Atlanta, I just went. You know, I'm just one of those type of people that just gets up and goes. You know, I believe in me at all times and I'm very confident in myself. Uh, as I said before, that confidence was kind of instilled in me through my grandfather and my father. So I've never doubted myself in anything. You know, uh, I, will, I will always say that I may not be great at one thing, 
but I'm good at a lot of things, you know? So for me, I made the move, okay? Had no plans. You know, me, I've never lived my life with plans. You know, I don't just say plan, to, you know, if you, if you fail to plan, the plan to fail. That, that, that for me goes into business and into uh, work, but through life, I have no plan because I feel I'm going to live how I want to live. You know, I'm not going to live how you want me to live. I'm going to live how I want to live. You know, the status quo is go to school, get a job, get married, retire and die. That's not what I ever wanted for myself. I watched my grandfather work till he was 65. They forced him to retire. That man had nothing to do every day. He mowed the lawn and cut the hedges every day because his routine was broken. Then a, a, a year or two later, he died. You know, he never got to experience life. I decided at a young age, I was going to experience life. I was going to enjoy my life. So I'm down here now in the Dominican Republic, having, chilling, going out, drinking, hanging with some people. You know, I knew a lot of girls, so I hung with a lot of girls. Same as in the States. I actually had a lot of female friends because guys get caught up. They don't want to come out. Their wife won't let them out. Their husband, I mean, um, their wife won't let them out. Their, boyfriend, or their girlfriend won't let them out, whatever, you know. So girls are always willing to go out. They're always willing to head out. So I'm, I had a lot of female friends I hang with. Same as here. I just hang out with girls and have fun. Um, so at the time, I didn't know that many guys. But I'd just be in the clubs, I'd be in the bars, and be like five or six girls with me. We're just drinking, having fun. So then these guys come up to me one day, and they go, hey, we're trying to throw a little party. You think you can invite some of your friends? Sure. Bring a couple of my friends over. Nice party. Everybody has fun. They're like, wow, thanks, man. We had a great time. I'm like, cool. A uh, friend goes, hey, I'm, I want to throw a party. Then you can help me. I was like, okay, I guess. <laughs> I don't want I don't know about throwing parties, but I guess we'll do it. Came with them, did the party. It, it, really, the party consisted of me calling a DJ and calling a few female friends, and it went on from there. It was a successful party. Then I get a phone call saying, hey, I heard you do parties, man. I mean, you think you could uh, help me organize this party? Okay, yeah, I guess I do do parties, huh? You know, I'm freestyling this stuff, but I'm so confident in myself, I'm just going to go with it and do it. And everything worked, everything succeeded. So then it goes on, club promote. Hey, this club goes, hey, can you help me promote, do that? Okay, yeah, I promote clubs, I guess. Let's do it. <laughs> then it was like, well, can you help me build this VIP in this, this, this club? I build VIPs in clubs. That's, I'm, that's what I'm known for, I guess, right? Then it goes, uh, can you build a bar for me? Can you do that? I'm like, yeah, I'm your guy. <laughs> so, you know, this is me just being me. Never saying no, because I don't doubt myself. And I'm just finding all these opportunities come my way. And each opportunity is working. So it just comes to the fact that you know, I had no plan. I sat back, and these things kind of fell into my lap. And I became the party guy, and I started doing events and shows and stuff like that. And then it was like, you know, networking and stuff. And then it was like, well, let's do this, let's do that. And business opportunities started coming. And I was like, okay, cool, you know, let's, let's do that, you know. I knew nothing about this stuff, but I'm going to make it work. I'm going to study. I'm going to investigate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that I'm the best at it. One thing about me is that no matter what I do, I'm going to be the best at it. I worked at Kmart one time. Kmart. I was stocking shelves. I was like employee of the month two months in a row. And I say that because I didn't have to work that hard. I was making like seven, eight bucks an hour. But I wanted to be the best at my set, my section had to be the best section that came up, you know, and it was the seasonal section. So if you guys know about seasonal, that crap changed with the holidays and mofos went crazy in seasonal. Halloween, all the masks on the floor, everything. But I had to be the best. And I was. So whatever you do, I feel you should be the best. So whatever I do, I'm going to work to be the best at. As I said, I'm not great at one thing, but I'm really good at a lot of things. And I can figure anything out. You know, I'm so confident in myself, I figure it out. So basically, you know, it, my journey was, I had no plan. I got up. I said, I'm going to do this. People used to come to me for advice or come to me to help them with things. And I said, sure, let's do it. And everything worked out. Now, that's the type of person I am. I get up and I make moves. I have a quote from Steve Harvey I put on here. I jump. I'm a jumper. I don't sit around and wait. I get up and do. I get up and move. My life is about my happiness. If I'm not happy, it's time to move on. And when I have my relationship, it's time to move on. Everything has to be about my happiness. Because if you're not happy, 
you can't make anyone else happy. If you're not happy, you are not living your life to the fullest. So for me, everything was just, you know, it was kind of freestyle. I won't lie. I've never, I've never lied about it. Excuse me. I'll never lie. It was kind of freestyle, but I've done my whole life that. My whole life I've freestyled, and I've succeeded in pretty much everything I've done. And that's just my confidence. So I say that to tell you this. I did it. You can do it. I will add some of this into the, the next motivational video. This is actually leading into the next motivational video. But believe in yourself. Believe you can do anything. You know, I saw a quote the other day that said, um, and for you guys, check out my, my, my uh, Instagram, Mr. Dot Flip Flop underscore RD. I put a lot of inspirational quotes, motivational quotes up there, besides the party stuff. And you guys can get an idea. Like, you know, you know, sometimes you need something to uplift you. I saw a quote that said, if you're not happy, quit your job. Uh, leave, your, leave your spouse. Do something, but don't just sit there and be unhappy. And for me, that's what I've been about my whole life. I get up, I go, I make myself happy. You know, uh, maybe kind of selfish, but in life you have to be selfish sometimes. Okay, so as I said, you guys, like, subscribe, hit the notification. Uh, check out the, the, the link in the description. My website should be up right now, uh, Mr. Flip Flop. Uh, any ideas you guys have for the website, I'm willing to take them. You know, I'm, I'm new to this stuff, so we're trying our best. Um, but as I said, man, my journey, this is my story, but take control of your journey. You are the navigator of your destination, and only you can control where you end up at. This is Mr. Flip Flop. Once again, I appreciate the love and support. I appreciate all you guys for the comments, um, the well wishes. It's much appreciated. I'm very, I'm very humbled by the love. And hopefully see you again soon. Mr. Flip Flop, I'm out. The, the more opinions there are of you, the, of, of, of me, the more I, the less I look at them because I just can't live my life based upon what other people think about me. So I can't concern myself too much with what other people think. You know, it's just not healthy. I'm going to share something with you. I'm going to tell you something that every successful person has to do, including you. Believe it or not, every successful person in this world has jumped. I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. You eventually, you are going to have to jump. You cannot just exist in this life. You have got to try to live. If you are waking up thinking that it's got to be more to your life than it is, man, believe that it is. Believe in your heart of hearts that it is. But to get to that life, you're going to have to jump. And I'll tell you why I call it jumping. See, God, when he created all of us, he gave every last one of us a gift.